Ian Corner webinar. So we're bringing you lots of sunshine from the sunny aisles. I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves first. Um, so Peter, tell us who you are, where you're from and what your prize is today, please. Hello, everyone. I'm Peter from Bespoke Travel Marketing. We support the sales and marketing of a wonderful brand new hotel on the island of Barbados. Um, it's called Wyndham Glen Barbados, Sam Lord's Castle Resort and Spa. So it's the newest hotel, only opened up at the, in October last year. Um, so I'm going to give you an update on that. Um, please, please listen, because you have the chance to win a prize. And your prize today is either, if you're in the UK, a £50 sterling voucher for my booking rewards on your credit to your rewards account. Or if you're in the US, a US dollar, $60 credit to your account. So please wait, please listen. And hopefully you'll learn something new about this wonderful new five-star all-inclusive hotel on the island of Barbados. Super amazing. Thank you very much, Peter. We're looking forward to catching up with you on your hotel. Um, I'd now like to let Nancy introduce herself. Nancy, welcome. Thank you, Sarah. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are on the globe today. Thank you for attending today. My name is Nancy, and I represent the beautiful, all-inclusive Sonesta Resorts on the island of St. Martin. So it will be either fresher if you haven't been or haven't looked in, into it for a while, or maybe it's totally new for you. So hopefully it will definitely bring you a lot of new knowledge. And uh, again, for us as well, make sure to listen carefully. We will have a question for you at the end and a price, which is also gonna be assigned through my booking rewards, my MAFO rewards, and it will be either 60 US dollars or 50 pounds. So good luck to you and talk to you soon. Thank you very much, Nancy. And last but not least, who's actually gonna take us on the journey today to the Caribbean, we've got Ruben. Ruben, hello. Hello, everybody. I am very happy to be here today uh, with so many friends that I have seen and so many that I haven't. So I'm going to welcome you to my home because that actually I'm broadcasting from Cancun. So this is a little sparky, uh, colorful, um, tasty, a little taste of what actually the Caribbean can show. So I am Ruben Velasquez. I am your VDM for Ocean by HC Hotels. And let me share my screen so we can start right away. And let's gonna make it bigger. So the theme for today is the Caribbean corner. And what I can tell, it's the most beautiful corner in the world. So I always like to introduce myself. My name is Ruben Velasquez. As I said before, I am your BDM and I am also a destination wedding specialist. Any time that you have any questions, if you need any training, please reach out to me and I will be more than happy to help in any way I can. So when we talk about the beautiful corner of the world, that is the Caribbean, we always picture beautiful villages that are located you know, near the beach in front of uh, historical buildings with such different characters. Every little detail or every little island in the Caribbean has a different personality. They have a story, we have shared values, we have even shared languages. Even Jamaica was part of the same community one day. But there are so many things to do, so many things to adventure out there. So what actually the Caribbean can say to the world is like, please come and enjoy and find out your own corner. So yes, um, we are Ocean Bay H10 Hotels. And um, when you picture about a trip to the gym, to the Caribbean areas, you always think in a beautiful romantic getaway or perhaps, you know, relaxing time at the beach, the music, the instruments, the flavors, and the mix of the cuisine that you can actually find in every corner of the Caribbean that has, for, for some people might think that it is a little bit or um, excitement or exotic, but I can tell you one thing. Every time you go to the Caribbean, you're gonna have to taste a great cup of coffee because the coffee that we have here that has an amazing taste it has a little accent from the volcanoes in the area so trust me the coffee here it's to love for so you're a coffee lover of course you're gonna love ocean bay h10 and i will tell you why so we are ocean bay h10 as i said before we are part of the h10 family we are located in the most beautiful corners of the caribbean from mexico in the riviera maya 
from, of course, Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic and in Trelawney or Montego Bay in, in Jamaica. So that those are our newest properties. So we are very excited to show, to show you these updates. And of course, um, every hotel, as I said before, every destination in the Caribbean has a different personality. So we try to put that in the soul and the vibe of all of our properties. Each hotel has been developed by all by us. We, we, did, we didn't take any uh, other brand that has been built before. So in order to give them certain personality and the details that you, the minute you walk into the property, you will feel that you are at the destination. We always have this beautiful Caribbean corridor, Caribbean street that comes alive every night with music, entertainment and happenings. And it's gonna make you feel that you are actually in the Caribbean. So from Mexico, you can see the accents, the different colors, the decorations, the style, the personality that has in different um, destinations that is gonna make you feel of, of course, this is Jamaica, for example, when you see like this, there is an airplane hanging from the ceiling, of course, the, there's no better place that I can see that than in Jamaica, that the place that is going to make you feel free. So basically what we can offer for all of our clients, besides that aspect of being different on each property, so we don't have those cookie cutter uh, hotels, is that we also have multi-generational. So we have options for every member of the family. Starting, for example, one of the my, my favorite attractions would be the Daisy Aquatic Park. It is so much fun when you see the people or the whole family checking in. You see the kids go directly to these areas because it's, you know, so much fun. They don't want to go to the rooms. They don't want to go to the beach. They can just mingle and have fun with all of the kids. We have the Daisy Snack Bar. There's a special restaurant, the Daisy Club with a napping area because they're going to get tired of playing so much. And of course, we also have the Ocean Teen Club. They need their own space with air conditioning, with video games, and so many options. So they can have a lot of fun at one of our hotels in the Caribbean. So the Ocean El Faro is the perfect image of what we represent. You can see on the left, we have like the family section, the daisy section. We, we kind of hated to sell families. We prefer to say couples with kids. It sounds totally different. And it's like actually a little bit more fun when you feel like, okay, yes, we are also a couple that we want to have fun as well. And on the right, we have El Vaso section. That is the adults only section that is uh, the in a family oriented hotel. So you can see you have the best of two worlds from you know, families and adults and those rooms that are in the front, those are something that we call privilege that we're gonna talk a little later. So when we talk about El Beso, it's the perfect area for you know, young couples, for people that they wanna have a lot of fun, but also have a relaxing time, like kind of romantic getaway. It's the perfect hotel or the perfect room category if, if you're looking for um, your honeymoon, for a romantic getaway, if it's your birthday, or the, if you have any special celebration that you just wanna be you and your significant other, go with the El Beso section at one of our ocean hotels. What else we have? Of course, activities. We offer something that we call, um, that would be the fun corner of every family hotel in, in the Caribbean. It's bowling alley. That is included. There are no extra fees involved. Uh, for example, when you're planning a destination weddings, the, the, the world that I come from, I always say like, hey, you can offer this for, you know, for the wedding couple that they can have another activity with the family and there is free of charge. You don't have to pay any extras and you can invite, I don't know, the bridesmaids versus groomsmen and the loser is going to pay for the wedding. So that will be another fun activity for integrate the whole wedding group so you don't have to pay. So that's amazing. That's the most selling point. So of course, we also feature uh, Lazy River Water Park that is available at Ocean Cuddle Spring and Ocean Eden Bay in Jamaica. And of course, Ocean El Faro in the Dominican Republic. In Jamaica, we are also offering something that I really love, the census dining show. So you can have this, um, the show is actually a little bit of music through the history of Jamaica, and it's gonna give you a great sense of uh, the culinary experience that actually Jamaica can offer to all of our guests. 
And we also have activities like non-motorized aquatic sports, day and night activities with the blue team. So that those are the, the, the guys that is gonna be like, hey, let's go to the, I don't know, take yoga in the morning at 6 a.m. So also we feature a uh, tennis course that are being turned into something that I really love, the pickle uh, tennis, pickle car. So I will tell you about that as well. Uh, for those that are looking for, you know, being fit, fitness during their holidays, we also have, um, of course, a, a training center, which is the gym. We also have a nightclub because uh, you know that you're going to have a lot of fun. You want to have party on um, one of our hotels. And of course, the pickleball that I was telling you, that is something that is uh, featured at all of our family oriented hotels right now. So if you are fan of pickleballs, reach out to me and I will be happy to help with more extra information. We also feature one of our star selling points, which is the Despacio Spa. So this is the perfect area if you wanna have a relaxing time. I don't know, let's say like, for example, you have a group of friends, they wanna travel, they wanna relax and stay away from their husbands, sell that idea. You know, it's gonna be like a girl's out in the Caribbean that you're going to have a lot of fun. You can stay in adults only section. Nobody's mingled with you. So you have a lot of ideas that you can offer to your client when you're offering Ocean by H10 hotels. When we talk about gastronomic offers, we have unlimited a la carte dining experience. That means you can repeat as many times as you want. You don't need to make reservations except of the one that we call premium areas. For example, like this Sakura is the Tepa and Jackie show. We have sittings every 35 minutes set. So that's the one that is gonna take reservations. But for the rest of our restaurants, like the Italian restaurant, the Presbola Grill, you, you don't need to make reservations. So I just wanna give you a little um, images of different hotels so you can see the personality, the flavor that you can see just by seeing the picture. In Jamaica, we are introducing the Tali, which is the Indian cuisine restaurant. That is something that is new at all of our hotels. We are introducing that in Jamaica, but we will also find the stay houses that is available at all of our properties. We also have the Amaranto Buffet, which is the main buffet of the hotel, but of course have different sections. That is very flexible when you are, for example, offering um, a uh, family vacation if they want to sit for you know, a, a group of 10 or if they are celebrating a birthday. So different sections help you to offer those kind of services for your guests as well. The sports bar, which is the perfect corner for that gentleman that wants to stay away from the, from the wife when she is having a good time at the spa, this is the place that he's going to want to be. And of course, we also offer Perfect day, which is our wedding collections. Um, we have different options for every couple, but most importantly for you, those are commissionable. That is another way to make more cash with Ocean Hotels. And we just recently launched our website, which is very helpful if you wanna have immediate responses or because here you just sign up, made an application, uh, let us know the date of the wedding, the size of the group, and you're gonna get responses within 24 hours if we have available, or if we don't, you're gonna get um, um, an, an advice of when the next available would be for, for the wedding group, of course. And then um, just to give you what that we are, an idea that how much work we have put into this, Finally, we make a new um, payment uh, solution for travel agents. We have an Onyx Center source. So that's the best way that you can get your uh, commissions. Of course, when you're offering wedding collections at Ocean Hotels. We also have a direct booking at the website platform. So you know for sure that one of your clients is gonna look for more options on any website. So this will give you the guarantee that they, if, we, if they go to our website, they will see the same rate that you are offering to your guests. And most importantly, you are offering transportation from the airport to the hotel and back to the, to the, to the airport as well. We have a rewards program. Of course, we love a rewards program. That is gonna give you the chance to make extra cash for every booking you make. We, when we talk about weddings per se, the way that you can offer this to your clients is that we have private venues. We get rid of the semi-private experiences, except of the one that is a complimentary package. And then we also offering plated dinners. So that is going to give you the chance. If, they, if, if the bride and groom, they want to have 
a lot of fun. They want to dance and enjoy the three hours dinner reception. This is the best way for them to take advantage of that. And then, of course, we have something that we call all-inclusive wedding experience. Why is that? We include the hair and makeup, the present service, the uh, flowers, the centerpieces, the tablecloth. Everything is already there. So they're going to feel like, oh, of course, with this, I, for, you know, for those couples that they need to know from day one, how much do I have to pay for my wedding? Trust me, they're going to love Ocean Bay H10 Hotels. We have uh, venues at the beach, we have beautiful gazebos that are outdoors, and we have gardens, terraces, different venues for different personalities, for different experience. Depends on what they are looking for, they will find at Ocean Hotels a great ally that will understand their needs and when, where are they going to. So last but not least, I'm going to tell you about the privilege. What is the privilege? Every travel to the most beautiful corner of the world, which is, of course, the Caribbean, you want to experience the ocean. So see the, the, the ocean, when, you know, you will always check in at the hotel and, and pay, and I don't know, 10 extra dollars to the, tape, to the uh, receptionist to ask them for an ocean view. So if that is something that your client is looking for, the privilege is the perfect uh, room category for them. Because those traditionally, those rooms are located near the ocean. I always rec recommend this also for clients that have mobility issues because they're going to have a bigger room. They're going to have a butter service, personalized concierge. So they can pick up the phone and ask for help. So they will feel like being extra taken care. Also, they have access to the privileged lounge. So breakfast, lunch, dinner in a more good man experience. They don't need to go to the main buffet if they don't want to. So imagine that you are having a beautiful mimosa for your breakfast with this amazing view that is actually at the, um, you know, right in front of the beach. So that is actually something that our clients are looking for. We have the, com the comfort to offer them air conditioning areas with ocean view or beautiful terraces outdoors that so they're gonna have the best breakfast in the Caribbean. Trust me, they're gonna love these options as well. So always offer the privilege as a, a travel agent because of course you don't want your client to come back to you and say, hey, you didn't say about this VIP treatment. And then we have um, for all the privilege service, the entry level is a junior suite, but it can go up for different room categories for swim out. And of course my favorites are the master suite. It can be ocean front or the master suite rooftop so it depends on what your client is looking for i will always recommend make them dream imagine what they want for example if there's their honeymoon can you imagine waking up on this amazing view can you imagine don't have to cook at all so you can call room service and if you want to be naked in their room you can have it so that would be the best idea that um the best recommendation that i can tell you when you are offering any kind of service to your client if you cannot dream it you cannot sell it so it's the, it's the best way to make them engage with you and the way that they will be expecting is that make them dream about their whole experience what are they going to do where are they going to go and where are they going to eat and so that is something that i will always tell to my um travel agents please make them dream this is a selling image can you imagine if i can tell you uh, hey i'm looking for the best option for you know, i don't know in jamaica for um, um honeymoon and you show me this picture and you see hey you can have room service here you can have the best wing the best wine the best view the best food so if, if you don't need you don't you don't have to leave the room at all so that will be another option that you can um, make them dream about i'm feeling about ocean hotels about the H10 Pro that is actually recently launched and is I am, I am I am very excited about this because we are offering the opportunity for all of our travel agents not only to sell Ocean by H10 but also all hotels are in Europe which are of course H10 properties this could be in Spain, in uh, Italy, in London, in, in London City, and in Venice and Rome City. So that will be um, increasing the possibilities that you can sell any ocean by H10, H10 hotel, and of course, our top brand, which is the one by H10. 
So in here is very easy. Oh, it's a special area that is for professional travel agents. You need to fill up an application and send us your, um, of course, your certificates as a travel agent. And within 48 hours, you're gonna get a response so you can start selling during that point. You create a user and you can manage all the team that works under your jurisdiction. So that will be easier. And besides, keep in mind the, the, the ones that I will tell you before the, the rewards program, the selling points that we can offer to all of our clients. This is just a glimpse of actually the, um, the other properties that we, you can be able to sell. So not only a corner in the Caribbean, but a corner in the whole world. So I just wanted to let you know about the H10 app. This is a great option when your client is arriving at the property. They want to know, I don't know, activities that we're going to have for them. Um, the schedule of the restaurants, the bars, the activities for the kids. If you are allergic, you can go through all of the menus of their restaurants and you will have so many options for your clients by using just this application. And trust me, trust me, you're going to have a lot of fun at the Ocean Hotels. Now it's time for, <laughs> thank you, just for. Thank you, Ruben, great presentation. Um, great to see all the different offerings that you have. So thank you very much for that. If you can stop sharing, I'm gonna hand over now to Nancy, who's whisking us off to St. Martin. Nancy, it's all yours. Yeah. Thank you so much. I hope you can all see my screen there. And I think we're all dreaming by now with uh, Ruben's beautiful presentation. So I invite you to keep dreaming and take your dreams a little bit further to the beautiful island of St. Martin. Let's see if we can get started here and get past this one. Technology is always great when it works. There we are. We should be able to see everything now. So as I mentioned before, Welcome to the beautiful island of St. Martin, whether it's been a while that you've been there or it's totally new. I hope this will be very beneficial for you. And if you would like to go a little bit more in depth in a little bit more detailed presentation, you can always reach out to me and we can make that happen, of course. For now, I would like to take you to, to our beautiful all-inclusive resorts. Sonesta Resort St. Martin, we are located on the Dutch side of the island. As you probably know, we have all that European influence on St. Martin. We have a French and a Dutch side. So it's a very, very unique island. We are based on the uh, southern western point, right by that very well-known airport. I'm sure you've seen the pictures and the videos of it. But first, I would like you to enjoy these gorgeous views. I call it the 50 shades of blue, because everywhere you will look, you will find all these beautiful turquoise uh, turquoise shades of blue that we have there. So as I mentioned already, the world famous airport and the world famous Maho Beach, and that is exactly the view we have from our resort. So of course, one of the selling points is going to be Wherever you're staying, when you're with us, you will have the best view on the planes landing right over the beaches there. And you can also do the crazy thing of hanging on the fence and take your pictures there. I don't really recommend it. It's, be it's better to watch it from the beach. That's always the safe way to do it. So beautiful spot, very famous. Who doesn't want to be there? And this is kind of a different view. So we have our Maho Beach in front of the resorts and Mullet Bay with Mullet Beach is one of the other very popular beaches on the island. We actually have 37 of them. So I invite you to come over and pick your favorite. They're all very, very gorgeous. So let's take a look at our resorts. We are all inclusive, fully all inclusive, which is not typically what you will expect on the island of St. Martin. You will find in general more smaller boutique style hotels. So when your clients are looking for all-inclusive on St. Martin, then Senesta Resort is definitely where you will find what you will uh, what you are looking for. So the taller white one is our family-friendly Senesta Maho Beach Resort Casino and Spa with 420 rooms, where we have something for the whole family for all ages. And to the left is our Senesta Ocean Point. This is our adults only with 130 ocean view suites. 
So a couple of things here, and mainly we're really talking about location. So do not compare us to other all-inclusive uh, destinations where the resorts are typically larger, there's more walking to be done. So one of the things I always like to point out when staying with us, everything is super walkable. It's a small property, so it's really, really easy to go around. Wherever you see the dining, enjoying your drink, your cocktail, you will be looking over the ocean. So that's, again, a great selling point because, of course, that's what we all want to do, right? When we're on vacation, right away, feel that, uh, that nice ocean breeze and looking over the ocean there. Another very important point is when, we, when you walk out of the resorts, you're right into the Maho village. So you feel right away part of the island vibe. You can hop on the local bus, you can walk down the Maho village, do your shopping. And it's just a very unique setting, again, very different from other destinations. And the island is only 37 miles top to bottom. So of course, even though we are all inclusive, we always recommend to go out and about, explore. I mean, you know, that's really the biggest thing of the island of St. Martin. People love to come back because they always meet so many nice people. They're able to go out and just enjoy everything the island has to offer or even do some other some island hopping because we have a lot of other places to visit right around the corner there. So taking a look at our Sonesta Maho Beach Resort Casino and Spa, which is our family friendly resort. So we have something for all ages there. You can see to the left our kids club. We have our pool. We do not see the aqua slides on this uh, slide here, but we have the kids pool with some aqua slides, little aqua park, and the same also in the main pool. We have our swim up bar. We have a spa and also a casino across the street. And we're fully all inclusive with entertainment and everything happening right there. So a beautiful uh, resort with something for everybody, whether it's a couple, whether it's a group of friends, it's a family with children. I mean, they all have a great time. Across the street from the resort, we have our casino. A fun fact, you will only find casinos on the Dutch side of the island. So again, that French and Dutch side, they all have their own characteristics. So it's like uh, two beautiful countries living together on a small island. Very, very interesting there. So in regards to our rooms, we try to keep it as simple as possible for you. Uh, the room categories will really uh, be differentiated by the view. So the lower layered floors will have the garden view, the superior view or the superior rooms. Then when you go up, you have the pool view and eventually also the ocean view. For the bedding, you will be able to book the bedding according to what your clients are looking for, whether it's a king size bed with pull out couch, which we can see on top, or at the bottom, we have the two double beds. In the middle, you can see one of our connecting rooms. This will be a king size bedroom on the one side connected with the double bedding, uh, which you can see here on the middle slide. Um, just take note, the uh, connecting rooms, we have quite a few of them available. We do not guarantee them, so definitely put them under request when your families are, are looking for those. And we will try to do our best, of course, to accom accommodate them as much as possible uh, for these, um, just to make it happen for them. We know that's always very, very important. So here's a nice shot really taken from one of the top floors where you have a better view on our aquatic slides, a little aquatic park, the kids pool to the right. And a question we always have is how far both resorts are from each other. So literally here you can see already the lobby of Senesta Ocean Point. There's just this little roundabout. So it's literally one minute apart, one from the other. So this should show very clearly how close uh, both resorts are to each other. So pretty easy to make that happen. If you work with incentive groups, we have our team in resorts uh, that we can accommodate. We have a lot of uh, meeting spaces, whether it's a large room, a smaller group, we can definitely accommodate them if they insist to do some work during their trip. That is definitely an option. I mentioned before about island hopping, something I want to point out. If you look at that little hump in the ocean, that is uh, one of the nearest by islands. This one is Seba, great for diving. And that's literally how you can see them around and how close they are. Some you can reach by ferry, others you can, uh, you can take a small plane to go there, but definitely great while you're there to see some other islands around. 
Dream Weddings in Paradise for our destination weddings. What better spot to celebrate the best time, the best time of your life, of course, right there on our Maho Beach. So also for the uh, wedding program, we have our team in resort and they can help you with larger wedding setups, smaller ones, whatever size the group may be, we can definitely take care of them. And that brings us to our little gems and Esta Ocean Point Resort. This is our higher end luxury all-inclusive resort as well. This one is for adults only. So we literally have something, again, for everybody there uh, between the two resorts for everybody's budget and also for everybody's characteristics, characteristics what they're looking for. So Senesta Ocean Point is our five-star higher-end luxury. As I mentioned, we have 24 hours room service there, three restaurants all together. These are exclusive for our Ocean Point guests. However, they also have access to five, to all five restaurants on the Sonesta Maho, the family side. And actually something I didn't mention when we're talking about Maho, uh, from the five restaurants on the Maho side, two of them are located in the village. So you can walk out of the resort and still use your all-inclusive right there while you're out. So that is, again, a very, very unique feature. So bringing you back to Ocean Point, three a la carte restaurants. Azul is probably one of our most popular ones, most well-known ones, where we have a daily changing menu for lunch and for dinner. It's a great location. It's um, amazing food. I mean, St. Martin is a foodie island, so we have to make sure we keep up that standard there as well. So we have three pools all together at Ocean Point. It's not that small. Here you can uh, see some of our swim out suites with the swim out pool. We also have our main pool with some light activities like yoga and uh, Pilates style activities. When you're looking for more action, you will find that on the Maho side. So depending what you're looking for, you will definitely find it right there. So here's a little shot of our famous Azul restaurant. And on top, we have the Bluefin. Great spots to dine under the stars and just see the latest set of uh, flights coming in. Bluefin is our uh, Poke Bowl style uh, restaurant right there. Amazing food, beautiful creations from our chef. And Portofino, I mean, our owner is Italian. So of course, Italian dining can, uh, cannot be missed there. Beautiful setting also right by the cliff for our Italian dining at Portofino. And something I would also like to mention, which, which works really great, especially nowadays, that you have all these groups tell, uh, traveling together, which, with, whether it's families, groups of friends, some may be on a different budget or traveling with children. So when they're staying at Maho, the Ocean Point guests will be able to join them for entertainment, food and drinks, and all together have a great time on the Maho side. So it works in one direction. The Maho guests will not be able to use the Ocean Point facilities. Ocean Point is very small. The price point is different. So we want to make sure we uh, keep that up for those who actually expect that service and then book directly the ocean point so definitely a great combination works really well for those groups where you have some people on one side and the other side they're still right next to each other to enjoy a great time during their vacation there this is our newest pool, which we uh, built at the end of uh, 2023, a little infinity pool. It's called the Seascape, and it's right in front of our gym. This belongs to the Ocean Point, and it's all, only accessible for the Ocean Point guests. So we always keep doing new things. We have some more things in store, which uh, will be coming up in the next six months or so. So, of course, we always keep innovating. We have a lot of returning guests, and we want to make sure to keep surprising them all the time. And we also have a really nice app, which we recommend for your clients to uh, download prior to their vacation so they can start dreaming and they can start preparing for the trip and really enjoying already everything that they will be doing. So you will find all the dining options, the entertainment program, the weather, which is always great. Actually, it's a very consistent climate in St. Martin, which they will definitely, definitely enjoy. So this app is great. I can send you the uh, QR code uh, that you can share with them, or you can just look for Senesta Resort St. Martin on the App Store, and that's where you will find it. 
And last but not least, of course, we wouldn't be able to do all of this without all of your help and your support all the time. So we are part of my booking rewards. We have our link, my Mahor rewards, which I will send over to you as well. If you are not signed up yet, definitely do so, so you can start receiving your cash rewards for your minimum five night bookings with us. And that adds up really, really fast. So that is really our way to say thank you for you and you know working together for a really, really successful rest of the year. That's the way to do it. So we're counting on you for that. And that brings us to the end of our little presentation. There's so much more to say and to tell. So definitely reach out to me if you have some other questions, if you have uh, another group of agents uh, from your office that would like to do the same thing, dig more into detail, let me know. I'll definitely be happy to do so. And I can also share with you um, the uh, travel agent rates in case you're planning to come on island. So uh, many options to visit us and to get to know more uh, about us. So thank you so much and I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you very much, Nancy. Um, a lot of people do love agent rates because as, as Ruben was saying earlier as well, getting out and experiencing it is the key. So yeah. thank you very much for that. Um, so now we're leaving sunny St. Martin. We're jetting over to Barbados. Peter, she's all yours. Hello, everybody. Um, greetings um, from the sunny island of Barbados. I hope everybody is keeping well today. Um, so I'm Peter Grace from Bespoke Travel Marketing. I'm going to take you on a journey to, to Barbados. Um, and I want to showcase this lovely new property, um, which is Wyndham Grand Barbados, um, Samuel's Castle Resort and Spa. Now, um, this property is Barbados' newest hotel. It opened up in October last year. Um, it's a brand new build. It took six years to complete. It is built, it has been built by the government of Barbados, and it's part of a new tourism strategy for the island of Barbados. It's designed to offer a very different type of resort. So I like to think of it as a bit of a game changer for the island. Game changer, why? Well, this, this type of resort isn't available on the island at the moment. It's a large-scale, luxury, five-star, all-inclusive resort managed by Wyndham Hotels and Resorts on behalf of the government of Barbados. It's on a very historic estate uh, situated in the southeast corner of the island of Barbados. Now, Samuel's Castle is this little white building here, and the resort or the hotel itself are all these buildings here. It's five blocks in total built on a limestone cliff edge that looks down onto its lovely beach. Now, who is this guy, Sam Lord, I hear you ask? Well, Sam, or Samuel Hall Lord, to give him his full name, was a vagabond and pirate back from the 1800s. So Barbados has a long history, um, much of which is, is, is sailing. And what Sam Lord used to do, he had a band of merry men and women who used to hang lanterns in these trees here that lead down onto the beach from the castle. This was his home. And um, so what these lanterns used to do was confuse arriving ships arriving into Bridgetown Harbour. Bridgetown is the capital of Barbados. Um, and they would actually turn towards the lanterns thinking they had already arrived in Bridgetown Harbour. Those ships used to break onto the onto the fringing reefs, break apart. And then Sam used to send his many men and women out to actually plunder those ships and take the goodies back on onto that dry land. That's how he became a very wealthy young man. Um, so a bit of a check at history, but this resort is brand new. It's lovely and very spacious room. So location wise on the island, um, we are located a short 15 minute transfer from the international airport, Grantley Adams International Airport, airport code BGI. You can see where we're located. It's on that southeast coastline. So the eastern coastline over here is open to the Atlantic. We are midway between Atlantic and actually Caribbean seas. So we are protected by this headland from direct waves. Now, Barbados each east coast here and specifically Bathsheba Beach here is a mecca for surfers. It's got some really great surfing beaches, and this east coast is a mecca for surfers. The west coast, or known as the platinum west coast, is a much calmer sea. We're in the middle between the two. So that's its location. Um, on arrival, 
Once you've arrived from the airport, your guests are welcomed into the lobby. We call the lobby the breezeway. The breezeway is our wow welcome experience. It's modern, contemporary, impressive, and it's open on both sides. Hence, the breezes come in. Um, you walk towards the end of the breezeway. You can check in on the right for, if you're an individual guest traveling as a family or a couple. Or if you're a large group, you'll check in separately on the left-hand side through that door that leads off the left. But carry on to the balcony and then you look out over the main central swimming pool and out to the ocean. So it's got a really strong wow arrival experience. In total, we've got six swimming pools. Five of them sit within the main part of the resort and are accessible to all guests. Then our sixth swimming pool sits in the spa, and I'll come on to that a little later. So in total, we have six swimming pools. Around the swimming pools, you've got lots of space to relax and lie out, parasols, lounges, and also cabanas are available as well for guests. Some of the swimming pools are adult only, others are family friendly for guests with families, with young children. So we are a family friendly, five star, all inclusive resort. Now, in total, we've got 422 rooms and suites at the property. That makes it the largest single hotel on the island of Barbados. Um, why is it a game changer? Because this style of resort uh, has very large spacious rooms. It's a, it's a very expansive resort. Um, and it isn't like many of the other hotels on the island of Barbados. That's what makes it quite unique and a game changer for the island. So the rooms are all very spacious. And the nice thing about this property is that every room and suite has been built to face towards the ocean. All the rooms have lovely spacious balconies. This happens to be a balcony of one of the suites. So they look out and you can see them commanding views out of the ocean there. Lovely furniture on the balcony. Now, our deluxe resort view room is our lowest intro price room type. This, this room is very spacious, so all the deluxe category rooms are 650 square foot in size, so quite spacious. And um, that includes the balcony or terrace. Um, very nice, large rooms. And we control um, the bedding, um, the, the room types by room type, which is deluxe room. The view type, this happens to be a resort view. And what does a resort view mean? Well, resort view means that it's facing sideways to either a swimming pool or vegetation or the gardens, but it doesn't have a full direct view out of the ocean from the bed. Uh, we also have then deluxe rooms with two separate queen beds. Now, a nice thing about this property is that it's great for families. So obviously if you've got two adults and two children, this room type is perfect for them. But we also have a large number of deluxe king bedrooms connecting into a deluxe room with two separate queen beds. We've actually got a large number that interconnect with each other. So that makes it ideal for a family of two adults and maybe up to four children. At its maximum, you could get two adults and five children by using a rollaway bed in the king bedroom. So it's great for that larger family unit, which I know sometimes travel agents struggle to find rooms with that or interconnecting rooms that are, are, are capacity large enough. Now, while we have a large number of these interconnecting rooms, these sets of interconnecting rooms, it's always a deluxe king connecting into a deluxe room with two queen beds, always. So that's why it's great for families. Um, we, we ask that you book the rooms as two single adult occupancy rooms. So single adult in one, single adult in the other, and then the child policy will look, apply accordingly, split between the two rooms. So those are the deluxe category rooms. The, the bath rooms are very large, spacious, marble clad, tiled with marble from Italy. Um, you've got uh, a separate bath and shower. You've got two vanity sinks uh, available, separate WC. So you can see they're modern, contemporary and spacious. Now, I said this is a brand new hotel and it's brand new and it's been built to the highest standards of, to cater to the mobility challenged customer. The guest who needs extra space, and we've got 21 rooms that have been created, not adapted, but created to cater to the guest with mobility challenges. Wider doors to enter the room and the bathroom area. This is a bathroom of the mobility accessible rooms. And we've got deluxe category with king bed with resort view that are mobility accessible and deluxe category with ocean view that are mobility accessible. The bathrooms have been adapted with grab rails, um, walk, a rolling shower, so there's no steps at all. And the nice thing about this property is that right the way through the resort, it enjoy, the guest enjoys step-free access. So elevators to all the rooms. Um, these bathrooms obviously step-free access into the bathrooms. There's only one specific area of the resort that you need to, to, to 
to cope with steps, and that is to drop down onto the beach level, but I'll come on to that a little later. So those are the deluxe category rooms. So we're now going to move into the suites. We've had 37 beautiful one-bedroom suites. The terrace suite is uh, the intro suite price, and these are spacious, two separate balconies in all the suites. This is the living room of a terrace suite, and all the rooms, both deluxe category and the suites, are fully equipped with mini bar that's stocked with and replenished daily with beers, sodas, uh, soft drinks, and waters. There's an espresso coffee machine in every room, and that's replenished daily with the capsules, uh, a, a tea making with a kettle. Uh, this happens to be a terrace suite living room with a lovely dining table and a wet bar there. So um, that's the terrace suite. Then you've got the ember suite into the next category up. Very beautiful, dual aspect to the, um, the bedroom there. Uh, the Zephyr suite is the next category up, even more space. And our currently our largest suite that we're offering is the Ocean Suite. Now, this is even larger, um, all situated on the top floor. And the nice thing about this suite, it is the it is a suite with a balcony jacuzzi, so a jacuzzi hot tub on the balcony. Lovely, spacious, contemporary accommodation for the discerning traveller. We are all-inclusive. Um, and the all-inclusive plan includes all meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, free stock minibar, replenished daily, 24-hour room service, seven days a week to all rooms. Um, the international brand name drinks, the spirits or liquors that we include within the all-inclusive program. For example, if we were to look at vodka, we would be serving absolute or Stolichnaya vodka as standard with all cocktails and drinks from all bars. If you want to upgrade to premium brands like Grey Goose Vodka or Chiroc or Belvedere, you can, but a small additional supplement payable locally, chargeable to the room account for the guests. So you can treat yourself if you want to, but we've got good international brand name drinks included already. Wine is served by the glass with all meals and from all the bars. So at the moment, we've got a selection of really good restaurants available at the property. The Mediterranean Market is our all-day dining buffet and a la carte restaurant. It's the largest, and it, it, as its name would suggest, it features the cuisine of the Mediterranean region. From French to Italian to Moroccan to Greek, you'll get a, a mixture of flavours, but also we have other flavours being presented throughout the week. So it's an ever-changing menu, and ever-changing theme to the main buffet restaurant. Castle View is our fine dining steak and seafood restaurant. Samuel's Grill is a more casual dining affair, and that's burgers, snacks, pizzas, wraps, etc., salads, um, out, out under cover, cover as well. Now, Burnt Cask is our adult-only rum bar, and that's open in the evening from 5 p.m., and it's got over 90 different types of rums available at the bar. Now, half of those rums are included in the all-inclusive program. The remainder are available at an additional surcharge, and they're the fine rums, the VSOP cognac-style rums. The Lantern Pool Bar pays homage to Sam Lord and his merry men who used to hang those lanterns on the trees to confuse those ships arriving at Bridgetown. We also have uh, just about to open a new swimmer pool bar called Sharkies. So this is a view of the property from the south, looking back to the beach. So you can see there's two parts of the beach. There's a very wide open sandy part of the beach and, a, and another part which is fringed by reefs. Um, so the, the beach is swimmable. We have a lifeguard on the beach and this picture was taken before the hotel actually opened. So there's now lounges on the beach. The access point to the beach is in front of the castle here, through the trees, down approximately 30 steps down onto the beach area, and then you can relax on the beach. Swimming is permitted, but you could have occasions when there are waves that won't be breaking onto the beach, and that's where the, the, the life-saving guard it makes a decision whether it's too safe to, to swim on the beach or not. But there are protected areas here in this, this pool area here. So in total, we've got six swimming pools. A uh, great choice to, to relax around. Some are adults only, and some are family friendly. Pickleball courts, tennis courts, a gymnasium. Um, Barbados Golf Club is about a half an hour drive away. So lots of activities. And don't forget those surfing beaches of the East Coast make it a mecca for guests who want to surf. So think of it it's as, a, as an option to access the surfing beaches. We are family friendly. We have a great children's club. Uh, it's aimed at children from four to 12 years of age. Um, complimentary for, for children to access it. Under the age of four, we request, we request that either the guest, the parent or the guardian stays with the child, or they can guarantee that the, the child is potty trained. 
Teenagers are catered for, but teenagers tend to be more independent and want to entertain themselves. But there's lots of activities available within the children's club. Um, daytime activities, arts and crafts, sandcastle making, jewelry paint, uh, jewelry making, face painting, pictures and na na nature walks. Entertainment in the evening as well for the children. So you've got lots of activities. Um, we've also got third party babysitting services available and they, they cost about $15 per hour for up to three children. So very family friendly and a great destination for, for children. For adult guests, we now have a lovely, luxurious spa that opened up last month. Uh, seven treatment rooms, um, great choice of uh, treatments, massage, manicure, pedigree, wrap, scrubs, everything you could expect from a luxury spa. Uh, next to the spa is the gymnasium, uh, but also we also have a hairdressing salon and a nail salon as well. So great for guests who may be wanting to get married at the property. So this destination um, will offer very good uh, wedding packages um we have great wedding locations on the beach uh, but also in front of the castle on what we call the castle lawn our banquet banqueting space is expansive we have the largest ballroom of any hotel on the island of barbados it can cater up to 800 people so great for larger wedding celebrations um so it's a, a great wedding destination for um, customers of all ages and, and all sizes of wedding party, from the small intimate weddings up to the much larger lavish weddings as well. As I mentioned, we've got great meeting and event facilities. Um, the ballroom, up to 800 people, theatre style and banqueting style, 700 people. Uh, out breakout rooms, etc. But I guess most of your customers are going to stay on holiday. This is a map of the resort, so you can see how it's located. The map shows the blocks of accommodation numbered one, two, three, four, and five. And as I said, all rooms face towards the ocean. The resort view rooms are located, for example, in these areas here, along the side of that building, building number two, along the side of building number four. And um, the full ocean view rooms look straight out towards the ocean and have uninterrupted views. Now, I'm going to play you a short video. It's less than a minute long, and I hope it'll bring it alive. So that's it for me. More information can be found on the hotels on website, windhamgrandbarbados.com. Just before I started the presentation, I shared a link with you to a link tree page, which is a landing page, which can access um, downloadable fact sheets, images, etc. So there's a lot of information on that downloadable um, website. And um, I will reshare it again for you if you missed it. Um, have a lovely rest of the day. And thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much, Peter. Uh, great options available there for your clients in Barbados. So we've got a couple of questions. Um, Nancy, I think you've answered a couple. Um, this one's for you. Sherry said, Nancy, can your resorts accommodate a variety of allergies and everything from mould, gluten or only organic wines, etc.? cetera? Um, these are a new issue for one of our, our couples. Okay. Yeah, it would be good. Anything that is new and special that I not, may not be aware of, Definitely send me an email to make sure I can address that with our uh, with our chef. Everything that is gluten free, you know, all the typical allergies. Yes, we definitely work with that. If it's something unusual, definitely let me know because that's that's going to be very important. If it needs something separate. Cool. Thank you very much. Uh, Mundu asked, "Is it possible to buy day passes?" Um, that's still for me, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, it will depend on our occupancy. Uh, if, if When we sell them, and if we sell them, it's going to be only at Sonesta Maho. We've been pretty full all the way through May, so we're starting to see a slight less occupancy now, but we will only be able to offer them when we are below 80%, and that hasn't happened yet so far, which is a good problem to have. 
Um, yeah. But yes, so we want to make sure we do have enough space for our actual guests staying with us before we offer the day passes. So it's it's really a, 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 yeah based on, on on what we have going on if we will be able to offer it. Okay, super. Helen would like a copy of a fly of one of the flyers that you shared. So Helen, if you can reach out to Nancy after the webinar, she'll be able to uh, organize that for you. Um, Susie. I'm not sure who is who this is for. Is there a pre-arrival required for weddings? Do you have to be there a certain number of days prior to the ceremony? So Susie, is this for Nancy, Ruben um, or Peter? If you could just let us know in chat. Um, Debbie's asked, uh, Nancy, does Snesta offer airport transfers? We do not. But we are literally around the corner. So it's very easy. If you want to take a cap, it's going to be $10. And um, yeah, there's many options to get there. So very easy transfer. Nancy, can you just put your email address into chat? Um, Peter, this one's for you from Debbie. Um, is there a charge for the cabanas? There's a small charge um, and it can vary depending on the location of them, uh, but it's a moderate charge, it's not excessive. Okay, super, thank you. Uh, Peter, what is the age for the babysitting? Babysitting up to 12 and inc inclusive of 12 from newborn, uh, as in infant, um, of usually from one year of age up to 12. Um, we ask that the, the, the guest, the parents ensure that the, the children are potty trained. So that's the minimum, you know, that we require. OK, super. Thank you. Um, Peter, are there sun lounges on the beach? Yep, there are. Yep, those were, and the pictures that I showed you as part of the presentation, those were taken just before opening last September. There are now lounges on the beach um, with parasols and around the pool area. So yes, the answer is yes. Super, thank you. Um, Peter, Barbados um, from Karen, is the beach accessible other than via steps? At the moment, no. The only way of accessing it is via steps. And there are about 30 steps from in front of the uh, castle down on through the trees and down onto the beach. Now we are looking at a way of creating a ramp that circles around the trees and down onto the beach. That is not yet complete. Super, thank you very much. Um, Nancy, the wedding question was for you. So oh. is pre-arrival required for weddings? Do you have to be there a certain number of days prior to the ceremony? I would definitely recommend it because you know how how it goes these days, right? Wherever you're traveling from, you may have a delay, you may have a time difference. Again, I'm not sure where they would be traveling from. So I would say at least, you know, one to two days uh, to be there in advance. I mean, most of the conversations are being held uh, before, prior to arrival, obviously, but then, you know, there's still another meeting once you get in resort to go over everything in person um so yes and also just taking into consideration any any airline delays or anything that may happen to to reach the island so i would definitely say one to two days at least to calculate to be there before yeah exactly um denise would like marketing materials videos photos etc so um denise if whichever hotels you're interested in reach out to them when i send the follow-up and they'll be able to send over what they have for you Okay, that is I the end. Shared again, uh, sorry, let's share. I just shared another link for downloadable fact sheets. All the collateral we have is available from that downloadable link tree page, linktr.e slash Wyndham Grand Barbados. Just share yep, that again. I can see it in chat. Super. Okay, perfect. So now is a time of the day that I love where we test the agents, see who's listening. So if everyone can go to chat, make sure that your drop down says everyone. Um, as a reminder, everybody on the webinar today gets a prize draw point. If you answer fastest finger first with the correct answer, you get 10 points. I'll then put you all in a magic spin to win and let you know who the winners are tomorrow. So Ruben, you were the first up today. So would you like to go ahead with your question first? Can you name at least two selling points when you are offering destination wedding packages for your clients when we talk about ocean hotels two selling points that ocean can offer to your clients so two we want two okay you're gonna have to look on the chat 
and see. I'm looking at it, but that's why I'm smiling because, well, those can be, but specifically for the, well, yeah, the doll only in family, <laughs> but specifically for the wedding packages, um, I mentioned something, of course, the, the privilege of free weddings, but um, no more buffet lines and no more semi-private. So I'm going to go with the first, first, first answer that we got here, which oh, so sorry. This was, so Susan was the first that said privilege. Then it was Crystal. Then Debbie said bowling included in Caribbean Street that comes alive. Oh, we go with, we... The, with the bowling because that's something that you can offer to all of the wedding group, you know, like have activities there with no extra fees. Okay, perfect. Debbie, you've got your 10 points. Um, Nancy. Yes, I talked a lot about restaurants. We always talk a lot about restaurants, how, how what a foodie island St. Martin is. So at some point I mentioned that we have um, a restaurant or restaurants in the Maho village. How many restaurants do we have in the Maho village that are part of the all-inclusive? Oh, I see all kinds of numbers flying by. <laughs> oh my God, it, it, it's hard to scroll up because it, it keeps going down. Okay. Four, three, hold on. Let's we've got seven, I... we've got We've six. got everything oh, there. <laughs> Whoever, it, the right answer is two. I can't scroll oh, all the way that up. Was Susie. That was Susie. Dragging me down. Yeah, Susie was the first person to answer and she answered two. There you go, Susie. If, if you're not part of my Maho Rewards yet, make sure to register. And that way I can sign you your credit on there. Congratulations. Well, we still need to put everybody in the magic wheel anyway so everybody make, needs to make sure that they're signed up to the reward programs um okay thank you very much uh peter okay guys if if you don't all get this then i'm gonna eat my hat okay how many swimming pools do we have at window grand barbados ah Wait. you see with number after number but luckily i've remembered it this time so carol said six way, way to go congratulations and everybody else sorry allison it's six yeah, I think Alison had a finger oh. issue there where she pressed one too many. So, there Carol, you. you have your 10 entries. Super amazing. Well, a big thank you, everybody. Thank you, Nancy, Ruben and Peter, for coming on and spending your time with us today. It's much appreciated. Um, your presentation has been super. Um, everybody needs to make sure now that we send in all of the bookings your way, especially for the islands that we're, we're looking at. So a big thank you. Thanks to all the agents for coming. I know it's busy out there anyway, but thank you. We appreciate it. Um, don't forget the hotels here are trade friendly, wanting to work with you, which is um, a very, very strong selling point on your behalf these days. So thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend and we will see you all next week. Thank, thank you, you, everybody. Bye -bye. Thanks everybody for joining us today. Bye bye. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye now. Bye bye.